Hey what's going on guys, Snatty here and today I'm going to be giving you my ultimate FPS guide to Fortnite chapter 2. So the first thing as well is, you want to make sure you have the latest version of Windows. You can do that by going onto your start menu, settings, update and security and check if you have the latest update. Next we're going to be downloading our GPU drivers. You can do that by going into the description below. Either going onto the NVIDIA drivers or the AMD driver link. Um, this depends on your system. If you have an AMD GPU, you download the AMD driver. Same goes for the uh, NVIDIA one. Next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be updating our GPU. After you have installed your GPU drivers, you want to make sure it's fully updated. For NVIDIA users, you just have to go into search menu and search up NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And it should be the first one there. As soon as it's open, go into drivers and check for latest updates. For AMD, it's in the control panel. You'll find it on your desktop. You can do that by going onto your desktop, right click, and it should be AMD control panel, and you can update from there. After that, you want to restart your PC and come back to this video. What we're going to be doing now is head on down to the description below once again to my Fortnite Chapter 2 FPS pack. It's a mega link, and you just want to download it and put it onto your desktop. Save it. Next what you want to do is you want to make sure you have WinRAR downloaded. This will also be in the description below. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go onto our desktop. We're going to right click the Fortnite Chapter 2 icon on our desktop and extract here. You'll only get this option if you have WinRAR downloaded. Alright, we already have it extracted. Now what we're going to do is going to be completely different. We're just going to go to wherever our game has installed in our file explorer this PC. For me, I downloaded it on my 500GB HDD, but for some, you might have it on your Windows drive. For most, I guess. But I'm going to be going to my 500GB HDD. For you, just go into your, whatever your game has installed. Go into your program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and you want to scroll down. To where you'll see um, four of these Fortnite icons next to these. You get three Fortnite clients and one Fortnite launcher.exe. What you want to do is you want to highlight the first one, right click it, go on properties, compatibility, and disable full screen optimizations, and run this program as an administrator. Then go to change high DPI settings, override high DPI scaling behavior to your application, okay, apply. Okay, you want to do this for the rest of the ones that has the Fortnite icon next to it. Properties, compatibility, full screen optimizations, override. Okay, apply. Okay. Same goes for the last two. Oh, I forgot to do that. Apply. Okay. Properties, compatibility. Okay, apply and okay. Next, what we're going to be doing for NVIDIA users, you can, um, for non-NVIDIA users, you can skip to time step on screen right now. But for NVIDIA users, we're going to be tweaking some things inside the NVIDIA control panel to get the best performance. What you want to do, go onto your desktop, right click, NVIDIA control panel. As soon as it opens, you just want to go to the left where it says 3D settings and go to adjust image settings with preview. And you want to use the advanced 3D image settings and press the take me there option. What you want to do is you want to scroll down to where it says power management mode, put it on prefer maximum performance and put your OpenGL rendering GP to your graphics card. And yeah, just press apply and OK and we can go on to the next step. Next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening up the Epic Games Launcher. And when you see Fortnite, you just want to go onto the settings on the bottom left above your name. And then scroll down to where you'll see the Fortnite drop down menu. Press on it. And it says additional command line arguments, tick that. And what we're going to be doing is going into our FPS pack, the folder. And where it says additional command line arguments, you want to double click it. Now what you want to do is you want to change where it says preferred processor to the amount of cores logical processors you have. You can do that by going on to the bottom, task manager, 
and then where it says performance it should be here logical processes for me that's four so i'm gonna change that to a four i'm gonna highlight it and i'm gonna right click and copy i can exit out of that you don't need to save it if you don't want to go back onto my epic games launcher i already have it in but i'm gonna paste it in again anyways so you just wanna um click on the box it's probably gonna have nothing in it and press Control and v at the same time so you can paste it in and you can close the drop down menu and go back onto the epic games launcher the next step is to go inside the game so we can tweak with the settings all right once you're game what you want to do is you want to go to the top right where you see the three lines and go on settings here you will see your video settings what you want to do is put your windowed mode to full screen at all times resolution to the one closest to the right all the way at the right that is your native resolution and frame rate limit this is based on your monitor refresh rate if you have a 60 hz monitor i'd recommend 60 fps but i have a 75 hz monitor so i'm going to put 120 which is the closest one next to it this gives you more smooth fps and yeah it will reduce input lag as well and make your cpu use less of resources all right we're going to scroll down to where this graphics quality we're going to put the quality preset to high for now what we're going to do is put the 3d resolution to 100 this will give you the best visual fidelity and you can see people far away what we're going to do is we're going to put the view distance to epic this doesn't affect performance at all shadows you need to put that off at all times unless if you want shadows on at least put it on medium at most of it anti-aliasing this is up to you i like having it on epic this does affect the performance quite a bit but if you want the best performance put on off textures put on high or epic depending on your graphics card if you have a pretty good one put on epic if you have a decent one high should be all right this doesn't affect performance as much for effects put that on low at all times you won't need the effects at most i'll put on medium or high but low should do it for most of you post processing put it on low all the time you won't need it unless you want the good graphics v-sync off all the time motion blur off depending if you want it on or not show fps on i like having it on and directx version i just put on directx 12 this gives you more fps and it's more of a better version allow multi-threaded rendering put that on at all times and use gpu crash debugging on press apply and we can go back onto the desktop for the next step now once you're back on your desktop what you want to do is go back into the fps pack double click on it and where it says ultimate performance power plan .txt, double click it and you just want to copy this so we can enable the ultimate performance power plan we can do that by going onto your start menu and right clicking and going onto your windows powershell admin uh, press yes and you just want to right click and it should paste it in press enter and it should enable the ultimate performance power plan you can fully enable it by going onto the bottom and search go on to power plan type it in press enter and go on to power options at the top it may not be in the preferred plans it might be in the additional plans you just want to select the ultimate performance power plan next we're going to be changing the windows appearance to fit for best performance you can do that by searching on the bottom left in the start menu control panel press enter go into system security system and advanced system settings and where it says performance go on settings and you want to adjust for best performance if you want the best performance possible i just let windows choose what's best for my computer because i still like the good appearance of my windows and as soon as finished just apply okay and your windows may look a bit different next what we're going next what we're going to be doing is going back into the fps pack going on to priority fix double click in the folder and you want to set the fortnite priority to high as it will give you more fps and it'll put it give it more priority but for some of you you might want to put it back on normal or above normal depending what priority your fortnite is I'm gonna do high, press yes, yes, and okay. Alright, next, what we're gonna be doing is exit out of this window and go into the FPS pack once again. We're gonna be double clicking the quick CPU.msi and install it. I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna repair it, even though there's nothing to repair. And finish. And it should be in your start menu if you go into here, 
you can search up, it's called quick CPU, press enter, yes, and here you go, it should come up with a window like this. What you want to do, once it loads up, is you want to set the power plant to the ultimate performance one, because you selected it, and put the core packet index 100, turbo boost index 100, and frequency scaling index 200. Apply, OK, and close. Sorry if I'm going through this a bit quick, it's because I don't have a lot of time, so yeah. Next, we're going to be going back into the FPS pack and going into memory.exe. Double click it. Yes, next, I agree, next. Uh, you can create a shortcut if you want, but I'm not going to do that. Install. Next, and finish. It should run memory.doc for you right now. You don't have to install the latest update. What you want to do is just press clean memory. Fortnite does use quite a bit of memory, so you want to free up some memory as soon as possible. And what we're going to be doing, back into the FPS pack once again, and go into ISLC. And go into and double click the IntelliJ Standby Cleaner.exe. Yes, and it may not launch up for you. I already have it running. What you want to do is go into your system tray and double click the um, ISLC one. As soon as it loads up, what you want to do, you want to stop it, it might be started for you. What you want to do is put the size at least here, 1, 10, 24. And for a free memory is lower than, I have on screen what you should put for amount of RAM you have in system. For A, I know it's 4096, so I'm going to put that in. One to time resolution, put on 0 0.50, zero. put 0 0.5, and then put delete, so put 0 0.50. Zero. You want to enable custom time resolution and uh, the polling rate put on 500. Before you start it, you can have um, these two on if you want. It'll launch it whenever and start monitoring as soon as you launch up Windows, but I don't have it on. Purge standby list and start. And yeah. Now, for some people, they maybe have Discord open in the background. You can um, turn off hardware acceleration as this can give you low PS in some games. So I'm going to go into your settings and then go into appearance and then scroll down to AC hardware acceleration, turn that off and you may need to restart your system. You can turn it off for Spotify and uh, Google Chrome, whatever you use. And next, what we're going to be doing is going on to the bottom left and the start menu, tap in run, enter, and press it, and press it. This is where your jump files get stored, uh, Doesn't the computer doesn't need it anymore. You can see how much it has by going into top local, right click and temp the properties to see how much. I have 22 gigabytes in here, which is quite a bit. So I'm just going to double click it. Control A to select all, delete to delete it. Press yes if you want to permanently delete them because you won't need them. And it should be deleting. If it comes up like this, you just want to press do the sort of I am, press skip because these are the files that are actually getting used. Alright. Now that's basically it for the tutorial. After you've done the step, you just want to restart. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'll we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.